Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course guys, today I have the BTO2 and of course this works with the Eco or the solar charge controllers. And of course it might be a different model for you but it works just the same. And of course it uses the Ethernet port using ComRS485 as communication. Alright, so today I'm going to show you the apps and how to connect them and how to actually get this thing working with the apps. I'll show you the official app and additional app that I've gotten to work with it and how to actually troubleshoot the app. All right. All right, guys. So if you follow along, I've using a screen recording here. So if you go to my apps, you'll notice the second to last um, app that says eco worthy. That's not the bottom line, but the one from the last line of apps. That's the two up from the bottom. You'll see that it says Eco Worthy. That's the blue app that looks like a sun with what that seems like a solar panel. All right. So if we go and we launch the Eco Worthy app, which is the app over here, you'll notice that the setup is quite simple. It will search. Once it searches, it will show you the Bluetooth devices available. It show you by MAC address. Now I have two of them set up already. It's quite easy to set up. You just hit the setup button on the device and then add it as the manual shows. So what you can do is to go ahead for after setup, meaning you press the setup, then you add the device, it will detect it and you add it here. It will detect the MAC address and it will tell you how to peer it. You can hit um, the peer and then of course it will peer. Now if you hit on the first option here, which is the Bluetooth device, it will then connect notice it's connected all right and as always we have the information here notice it goes through it shows you a preview of the information you can go to notification you can go to controls you can go to data to see the data here it tells of power consumption and power generation you can go to um, notifications there's none now including emergency warnings or so on so i'll go back to data and i can go back to home so you can get the information from your device especially at a distance it doesn't support wi-fi unfortunately and it uses bluetooth now of course to get a little bit more information i found a secondary app and of course i can show you these apps all right so the first app is uh, that was that just now i'm just going to show you what it looks like in the play store here you go it is it says um eco worthy and of course it's some of it is in um Japanese, but you see that the reviews are in English. So it is, um, this is the English version. So just simply search Eco or the app. Um, the app does support the devices such as the Bluetooth device. All right. So you can download this. It has um, a decent rating of 3.5. All right. Um, now, if you look down here, guys, you'll see another app which is in the last line which says Solar Mate. Now, Solar Mate is an alternative that you can use. It does not work out the box, but you can actually get it to work. I'll show you Solar Mate in the Play Store. All right, so this is Solar Mate, and of course, I do not make these apps. I'm not affiliated with them. So Solar Mate is a secondary app. It says Frank is the producer. I do not know who that is. You can see the app here. All right, I like this one because it gives me it works and it gives me the setup. But there's a trick to it. I'll show you what to do. All right, so just as you saw earlier um, with the app. If you go ahead and try to launch Solar Mate, it will come to this screen. It has cloud monitoring and it says here Bluetooth and it shows you that it supports BTO2, which is the um, setup from earlier. If I hit Bluetooth, you notice it's empty. It should show a Bluetooth module. Now to fix this for eco-worthy devices, and this is a trick I have learned, thank God, um, it's quite simple. Now look, notice you see nothing here and if you keep opening it, it will not show anything. So if you keep opening, it will show nothing. The only way I've found to it that make it work is to go back to eco or the official app, the blue one here, and launch. And once you're in here, tap on the Bluetooth device, allow it to connect. As you see here, do not close, simply do not close, simply minimize. Once you minimize, go to the Solar Meet app and launch. And there it is. If at any time I close the e official app, it will stop working. So in my experience, this is how I got it to work. So once it connects and you have it open in the background, and I'll show you if you try to close it, 
say for example if i close this out like this notice that it will disappear notice it is gone so to get it back simply keep this one connected and launch that's the only way and that's a fix for it and solar meet here see it's come it has come back so you have to keep it open if you have multiple installations open the other installation to get this to show and this is the preferred app for me i like it gives more detail notices so it shows charging at the top there it shows you everything in a neat format it shows you the battery capacity it shows you the voltage and you have these nice controls down here sometimes it might bug out but it does relaunch if you go to data it will populate the data it's a great app let's give it some time sometimes it takes a little while so i'm just going to give it a while to to load up and there you go so oops sorry it does fail so i'm going to refresh Ah, there you go keep close as possible to the connection point to make sure everything works all right so you can tap here you'll see your information in kilowatt hours if i go back to the historical data of consumption you'll see that we have monthly reports generation and so on quite nice and if you set it up properly you can go to um, program you can see the various programs it will show you how to configure you can go to general to set up your device you can do to load to show you how much load that was used you can go to battery to get data detail and you can see how much is generated and you can even see how much um, money you have saved if you put in the unit um, rate at which your um, power provider um, gives you um, electricity at it will show you how much you have saved in terms of um, power all right, so the kilowatt hours. All right, so I'm going to edit it right here. The work is useful. As always, Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye for the next time. Bye.